good morning to you. Thank you so much for sticking with us. Of course, this is still Y in the morning, right here on Y254 TV. Thank you so much. We just took a short break and we are back. You're just in time for the next conversation of the day, if at all you're just joining us. My name is Ron Maguko. It's a pleasure being with you today. And you are just in time for the next conversation of the day. We want to talk about depression and unemployment this fine Monday morning. Are you unemployed? What are you doing to get a job? Is it stressing you? Do you feel like your desire to get a job is giving you what we call depression? Are you depressed? And do you know someone who is going through this particular uh, season of life? To help us in this discussion, I am with M.D. Uh, Jiru. He's, an, he's, he's a M.D. Jiru, the artist. Right. Yeah. We can go with MD. MD. Yeah. Now, uh, tell us a bit something about yourself. Uh, yeah. For someone who is meeting you for the first time, okay. who is MD? Okay. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you to our viewers. Mm -hmm. My name is MD Njiru, the artist. I'm an author, I'm a speaker, and I'm a jack of many trades. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Karibu sana, my brother. Asante. MD himself. Yeah. And of course, remember, we are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also streaming live through our website. That's at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. As we talk about matters concerning a uh, uh, career today, we want to talk about an unemployment and, uh, and depression. And uh, uh, at MD, um, I, I want to first of all start with understanding this. Yeah. At what point should someone say that they're depressed? How can you pick out a depressed person? Of okay. course, in reference mm -hmm. to unemployment. Okay. Yeah. So, on day to day basis, on daily basis, we do encounter stress, but prolonged stress mm -hmm. leads to depression. Yeah. So, when one is unable to do the normal functions that they, they normally used to do, mm. they usually fall, they're usually in a state of depression. Mm. You know, like waking up in the morning, it should not be a big deal. Maybe you can sleep in for a few minutes, but if you want to sleep in the whole day, especially now for this unemployed person, now that's a case of depression. depression. Yeah. And, 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 and according to statistics, yeah. There are so many cases of dep uh, causes of depression, sure. but one serious cause of depression is unemployment. Sure. And 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 someone may wonder. So, um, how do I deal with it? Okay. Uh, how can I cope with uh, this state that I am in, where I am depressed? Yeah, you know, we don't just work to get money. Mm. Works also, working also gives us a sense of meaning, a sense mm. of purpose. Yeah. So once someone is unemployed, once someone doesn't have a place to go to work, they are deprived that sense of purpose, that sense of meaning. Mm -hmm. I remember something back a couple of years when a police officer was being interrogated for one of these jobs and there were some corruption allegations. And that person said that if they lose their job, they can even die because all their life working as a police officer it has it, been their yeah their lifelong dream yeah it, gives, the only them, it gives them their identity gives them a sense of purpose it defines who they are sure so if they lose it yeah you've killed them they have lost an identity they have lost a sense of purpose and a meaning to life mm -hmm. a point ya money Bado. these first three things a recipe to, to depression. Identity. Yeah. Self-purpose. Yeah. And, 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 and ladies and gentlemen, even as we talk about this, uh, feel free to ask your questions about this. What are you doing to cope? Many youths are unemployed. And so this discussion is so relevant to you that you must be part of it. 
head over to our, to, to our uh, social media platforms. The hashtag is Why in the Morning. And uh, drop in your comments on Twitter. Tag me at Ram Maguko. And the official station handle is at Y254 Channel. Engage with us. And we, shall val we, we, we do value your feedback. We shall sample them even as we continue with this uh, uh, discussion. MD, you're good? Yeah. I'm asking, uh, yeah. I, I, I'm trying to find out about um, this aspect of coping. Yeah. Very, very important sure. coping mechanism. Yeah. But now, let's divide this discussion yeah. into different areas. Okay. One, mm. let's talk about those who are unemployed. Yeah. They have never gotten any job at all. Yeah. Two, yeah. let's talk about those who have lost yeah. a job. Sure. All right? Mm -hmm. And they are now home. Yeah. They do not have... Yeah anywhere to go to yeah and finally number three yeah let's talk about those who do not have the ability to apply for any job yeah. because they they say mm. that they have not gone to school okay. they don't have the papers mm -hmm. they don't have any form of experience yeah. at least option number one is unemployed but an, uh, he's applying for a job yeah but option number three mm. is unemployed that they do not have the ability to apply, though they believe that mm. they do not have the ability to apply because they do not have any qualification. Yeah. So it'll be the name Django. I end up finding all jobs mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Because of unemployment. Mm. Let's talk about these three groups of people. Yeah. Let's start with number one. Yeah. You are unemployed. Mm. You are applying for jobs. Mm. They are not coming through. Mm. Every single day you get, we regret to inform you messages. Yeah. And sometimes... Kenyan employers don't send, they don't have even the cutters. Sometimes send. they don't reply. Yeah. Mm. It kills you. Yeah, sure. It How does. can you cope up? It does, it does. Yeah. So, number one is you need to come up with a structure. Mm. You know, 24 hours, if you're not doing anything, it's such a long, long time. Yeah. Yeah. So, you need to come up with structures. As much as you're applying for a job, mm. you need. Structures that will keep you moving. Moving um, in terms of uh, keeping you occupied during yeah, the day or yeah. uh, structures in terms of you just keep keeping on applying for jobs. What structures are you talking about here? Okay, keeping you, number one, for example, when going even for a job interview, even mm. when performing a job, like the way you're now doing this job, you have to be in the right state of mind. Yeah. So you need structures to keep you in the right state of mind. You mm. know? Mm. So one of those structures is like exercising. When you exercise, you feel good. So you first need to allocate time for exercise. You need to allocate time for exercise. Mm -hmm. You need to, to allocate time to read. I remember mm. Mm. when I was in this show some time back, I said that Reading is an exercise to the mind. So you need to keep your mind engaged. So physical exercises, yeah. mental exercises. Good, yeah. Yeah, to keep you in check. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you also need to, to feed the inner being, the spiritual being. Spiritual exercise. Spiritual exercise. So you need to, to pray. Mm. You need to, whatever you believe in, you need to engage in that belief. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Because now, here we have a problem here mm -hmm. of somebody who is going through depression. And you, you're mentioning exercises, yeah. Yeah, things that keep you mm. active. Yeah. They get into drugs. Yeah. It, it, it keeps their mind off of the stress. Yeah. And they feel like at some point, if I smoke this or I drink that, yeah. it releases all the stress and at least I have a moment of peace. Yeah. Let's talk about, handle that. What, what do you think about that? So, once someone doesn't have structures in place, mm -hmm. they will fall to distractions. You know, in, in physics they say that nature abhors vacuum. So, these 24 hours that you're not, maybe part of it you're spending it sleeping, this other vacuum will be, will be occupied by distractions like alcohol, drugs and mm. other forms of distraction. Mm. Mm. That's why I'm encouraging someone who is unemployed to come up with structures. And better if to, to even do voluntary work, you know, 
so as to give their life a sense of meaning yeah and 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 and, and even as you, as you as as you talk about that now there are those people who decide to watch movies yeah is that a good thing? Jamaa amesema nataka kuweka series. Mm -hmm. Four seasons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Four seasons. Right. Some even have ten seasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Depends on. Yeah. You want to start watching that series, that, that series all day, all night, yeah. to just keep you occupied. And you mm -hmm. see, if you, you may be staying with your parent, and I'm going to say, and I'm going to watch series from morning till evening. Yeah. Hana job. And I said, but I applied for this work, and I'm mm -hmm. waiting for the response. Yeah. So movies are good. Zita, zita entertain mm. but up to what extent up to what extent so you can't watch movies the whole whole day mm. so you need to break down you say like maybe in the morning i'll go for an exercise i'll do my exercise routine two hours of my day i'll do voluntary work then in the evening maybe from maybe around 3 p.m to maybe let's say 6 p.m because you have so much time at your hands you can watch movies Mm. Yeah. So as a, so you you segment yeah some so some time of the day yeah the, then something else they, that I need to explain about depression mm. the moment you exclude yourself you are more prone mm. so if you spend your whole day watching movies you are excluding yourself so mm. you are more prone to 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 depression wow yeah you need to you need you need you need to have, like, I was mentioning in the book that you need to have two hobbies. If you are in this, in this you, if you're in a scenario where you are more prone to depression, mm. among them being unemployed, yeah. you need to have two hobbies. Mm -hmm. One yeah. that will get you out there, you know? One that will sell you. Yeah, one that will get you out there, maybe going to play football, maybe basketball, okay, going okay. to the gym, mm. one that will make you interact with people. Mm. Secondly, okay. you don't need to forget your problems to bury your problems like an ostrich. You know, mm. when you ostrich, you bury the head in the sand yeah. during fire. Mm. So you also need another hobby that will keep you indoors so that you can reflect. You know, if you're out throughout the day, maybe you're an unemployed and you're out throughout the day, you not have time to reflect. But if you balance and you have time to reflect, your indoors at one point will start reflecting. Well, and if I continue like this, without a job, mm. things will not be good for things me. Things will not be good. But, yeah. but, but now, I'm, I'm, I'm really worried. And, and, and this is what I know many people are going through outside there, many watching you this day. Yeah. We have so many regrets emails that we get yeah and as you mentioned sometimes you don't even get a response yeah how can someone maintain that motivation to keep on applying for for, for jobs mm -hmm. because you mentioned spiritual exercises mm -hmm. you are praying mm -hmm. but you keep the the, the the more you pray the more you get reg i reg we regret to inform you mm -hmm. we regret to inform you mm -hmm. how, how can a youth watching you today get that motivation to keep on keeping on Okay, so that's a very important question. The motivation, you know, motivation comes and goes, mm. but we need to be committed, and commitment is not easy. I'll answer this from, from the autobiography of Nelson Mandela. Yeah. When I was studying the autobiography of Nelson Mandela, I was wondering, how can one man withstand prison condition for 27 years. 27. 27 years ni mingi sana. Ni mingi sana. So, I saw that Nelson Mandela had structures. And also in my book, I mentioned about prison because I'm using the, the extremes. If one can cope with the prison conditions, most likely they can cope with. If this condition, if, if the systems that apply for someone in prison, they can apply for someone who, has, who is unemployed. Mm. So, what did Nelson Mandela used to do? One, he used to read. So that's exercise to the, to the mind. Mm. Also, Nelson Mandela used to exercise. He used to do calisthenics. This body, body, what do you call it? 
exercises that you support yourself with your own body weight, like push-ups, pull-ups, okay. and all kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So back to this person who is unemployed. Mm -hmm. You know what, I pay for a job today and get an invitation maybe even next week. It will take a period of time. Mm. Even when you get the job, you realize that it is not what you really, really expected. Mm. So you need to have coping mechanisms, like shock absorbers. That's yeah. why I w I'm advocating for, one, you need to exercise the, the brain, exercise the body, and feed the inner person. Inner person. And when at it, find your purpose in life. Mm. Because Jim Rohn once said that purpose help us to, to, pull, to pull us forward. You know, there are those days that are bad days. If you have purpose, at least your purpose will pull you. Forward, forward. forward. Yeah. And, and it will keep you going. Sure. You, 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 you will not give up. Yeah. And in fact, one thing that I, I, you've said that I love yeah. is that sometimes you, do, you will not get an immediate response. Sure. You may apply for a job in January yeah. and they respond in the next yeah. uh, 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 12 months or so, yeah. 8 months in December yeah. or in the next year. But you will get a response. Sure. But you have to keep on going sure. if you are to uh, get to the goal that you set for yourself. Yeah. Now, I'm looking at uh, the aspect of these youths who are job seeking, yeah. applying and, uh, and uh, at least instead of this de depression. Mm -hmm. What do you do mm -hmm. when people keep on asking you mm -hmm. questions like, what are you doing yet your mates are getting jobs? Mm -hmm. Your mates are getting employment and you are here. Mm -hmm. Your mates are developing and growing and you are still in the same, same place. Mm -hmm. You keep on getting compared to your mates who mm -hmm. have achieved and gotten jobs yet mm -hmm. you haven't. Mm -hmm. And to make it worse, mm -hmm. you, must, you might have graduated at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, Uko mtani unasimbanga effort ni muhimu. Mm. You know? So, you are mates who you went to school with, they have, they gradu you graduated at the same time. They, they have gotten jobs. They have uh. gotten jobs. Now it's stressing doing, you. They are doing well. Uh. But what is important is effort. Mm. You know? Okay, let me be a bit personal because even my book, have, I've written it from a personal perspective. Okay. I've been in and out of employment for a couple of times. And at one point, I was out of employment while staying with, at home, you know? And, and my mom used to encourage me that get out there. You know, you don't wake up in the morning and you just sit there watching television, mm. you know? And any day I would come, sometimes I would even think that I made an interview. And she would gladly give me fear to go to that interview mm. because she could see <laughs> effort <laughs> effort yeah you know yeah so not having a job is not an issue what's the effort you're putting into that it. you are putting into it mm -hmm. also when you go to the job to to maybe you have been unemployed for two years it's unfortunate but you know, when you go to to for an interview they will ask for the for, for those gaps in the cv for these two years what have you what have you been doing you know, you can tell the, the panel, the interviewing panel that I've just been applying, applying for jobs. Mm. But if you say something like I've been voluntar doing voluntary work, you know, mm -hmm. now it changes the dynamics. Mm -hmm. So the key thing is effort. Mm -hmm. no, one, no one can be crucified, even those people living with unemployed people. No one cr can crucify you for not, for not having a job, yeah. you know. Yeah. Something else that I need to clarify. Most of the people who are unemployed, most of those people who graduated recently, they're either staying with parents, siblings, relatives, and all that. You can't wake up and just watch a movie the whole day. Wake up and do house chores. Yeah. You know, because this other person is going to, to job, mm. at least leave, leave them some of the duties. Wakutu, wakutu mepika. Nyumba yuko safi. Good. There's some organization. Yeah. You add value. 
but wezi kuwa ti uyo mwenye anakuhosta, anatoka kazi, anakuja ndio, ananza kupika. You know? Hapo <laughs> yeah. na kupigia makofi. Ati ya ya nakuja, yeah. alikuacha kwa nyumba subuhi. Yeah. Amenda kazi. Yeah. Na kirudi, yeah. the house is in the same, same state. Yeah. You've not even moved even a pillow. Mm. Ata kitanda haujatandika. Yeah. Uh, uja, uja dasta, uja mm. pika. Yeah. At least they should come and find that you've cooked yeah. and, and, and there is some food ready. Mm. Even if they're going to pay your rent, mm. they won't feel the pinch of mm. it. Tafauti tuwe nya napata ni, ni token inaria tu ti, 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 ti. Kwa sababu umefungua TV the whole day. The whole day. <laughs> But now I want us to move to, mm. to um, this other uh, lot. Yeah. Those who have lost their job. Yeah. Let's talk about them. Mm. How can we help them? Okay. Yeah. Advise them. Thank you. Mm. So, loss is such a painful thing. Whichever kind of loss, it's such a painful thing. Yeah. In fact, when people are conned, they are usually conned because they don't know how to cut their losses. You know, when you listen to con stories, mm. most people when they are conned maybe... 10k there will be a follow up send two more k send more uh, uh, two more two k zingine three k ingine that is a con man talking to you yeah mm -hmm. because people are not good in cu cutting their losses even when relationship end people are not able eh see Meisha, mm -hmm. you want to try and pursue mm -hmm. it's human nature you want to get back together yeah try to see what, yeah. if it will work again sure you break up and then you get back together again yeah all right So, pia kwa job, mm. kwa, kwa job sinaru, you have lost your job. Inauma, but kuzwe ina kuanga shida. Mm. It's, I think, in fact, there should be counseling services for people who lose their, their jobs. Remember, at the start of our conversation, we said that job gives you identity. Mm. Jobs give, a job gives you meaning. A job gives you a sense of purpose. Now, you have lost that. So you can imagine the loss. Where do you get your sense of purpose? Yeah. Where, where do you get your identity? Yeah. If you were identified with that particular job. Yeah. You wow. know? So and if a job and if that job gave you some like celebrity status, mm. you know, it put you out there. How do you how do you cope with that? that? That's pressure, man. That's yeah. pressure. Yeah. So In fact, I've written a book about that, mm -hmm. although I've not yet released it. Mm -hmm. So in that book, I usually, I, I, I tell people, I, I, I walk through people through a process of mourning. You know, just like romantic relationships. Mm -hmm. When a relationship dies, you don't jump into the next relationship. Mm -hmm. And if you jump into the next relationship, you only need to rebound. With yes. the time it will... It's not go far. Mm. So you can't lose a job today and tomorrow you're applying for a job. Let's make that clear. Once so you, you're saying you should give it time. You give you it time. You, give, you mourn. You mourn that loss. <laughs> you grieve okay. over the loss. Then you, bec you, you, are, you, you enter into a better state of mind. But, but brother, so uh, 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 there is... A wool, uh, okay. okay. Uh, Continue. <laughs> This, this, okay, I'm asking myself this question. Yeah. Um, how do you mourn a job? How do you mourn? How do you mourn for a lost job? You grieve about it. How, how do you grieve? Okay. You, you know, different people grieve different different ways. Yeah. Uh, you know, if it's for, if if it's for maybe it's 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 ladies, you can call your girls. <laughs> and go cry over it. Lieni pamoja. Lieni pamoja. And, 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 and I think ladies are more... Ladies have an advantage. Mm. Because when a lady loses a job, for example, or is going through a loss, she will call her fellow ladies and they will cry over it. You know? But if a man loses a job, he can't call fellow men and they start crying over the lost job. They will most likely buy drinks to him and all mm. that But kind of stuff. There is somebody who has a question. Abdul, yeah. let me say that question again. Uh, 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 Nadaku, see you, Swali Tena. Did you hear? 
So yeah, uh, uh, but be, uh, even as you you get that question for me, let me ask you this. Yeah. So someone has just lost lost a job, and um, and uh, and uh, after they have lost a job, yes, there is that set of depression that they go through. But now I'm going to look at this from a different angle again. Yeah. Because here we're talking about losing yeah. something. Yeah. You? Yeah. you it might not necessarily necessarily be that you've gotten fired. Yeah. What about demotion? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got demoted mm -hmm. from that job that you used to have mm -hmm. and now you're at a lower ranking position mm -hmm. and uh, you're meeting the same same people mm -hmm. but need demotion yeah it can be depressing yeah sure talk about that yeah so yeah it's very depressing mm -hmm. now there are so many dynamics to it there are so many dynamics to it mm -hmm. one once you're demoted accept it's hard, but at least, you know, it's like in a relationship. I, I, I'll compare most of this with romantic relationship. Someone can tell you that they have not broken up with you. They, mm. they just want to separate with you. At least, at least it's comforting. They want the time. <laughs> you know, it's not a breakup. So the <laughs> fact that... <laughs> but at least it's... The, that's, that's a soft landing. So once you are demoted... Okay. That's a soft trend and you're like, ah, at least I have a job. Mm. You know? Mm. So you accept. At First least you, accept. you have a job. You have a job. Okay. Then depending on the dynamics and the kind of maybe office politics involved and all that, you start looking for another job. Mm. You start looking for another job. Mm. Then you leave the job. Depending okay. on how it plays out. You can so see that. So start looking for another job. Yeah. As you're uh, doing your current yeah. one, huh? yeah, and uh, don't let people know about that. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's very key. Yeah. That's, that's very that, that's very important. Right? Very important. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, if someone is uh, trying to cope with uh, demotion, yeah, um, should you confide in people because this is something that some may feel embarrassed. Mm -hmm about talking with someone may be a problem. Good. Confiding to people, that's good, but who are you confiding to? Mm. You know, if you are demoted, don't go confiding to your, to your colleagues. Maybe that, there's that colleague who was eyeing for your position. You know, there's someone who is even happy celebrating that you have been demoted. And whatever you tell them, and most of the time, the kind of talk you'll have is a negative talk. Mm. You'll give negative feedback and it will reach your boss. So <laughs> don't confine to your colleagues. Relax. Confine to people outside there. Mm -hmm. Confine to people outside there. Yeah. And nowadays, you know, it's very, with this current generation that you have, mm. you confine to people, they screenshot it. They post it all over. <laughs> That's why it's important to, to, to journal. Yeah. So I was reading somewhere that if you're going through, through emotional events, let that emotional event in that person. For example, instead mm. of writing, today I went to the job and I, I was shocked that I received my demotion letter, mm. write it in that person. Mm. He, remove yourself from I. Say, he went to the job. Mm. And shock to him. He found his demotion letter. Mm. You know, now that you are removing yourself from the scenario, you'll be able to come up with solutions. Write whatever you write, write whatever you write. It's a way of getting it out. I love, I love the fact that you're saying, you know yeah. what, even if you want to confide in someone, yeah. don't just talk about... Uh, uh, work issues yeah. with uh, with your colleagues yeah. and, and 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 your bosses. Mm. At some point, it might circulate around. Yeah. Now, the part you you let colleague and all look on 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 get you and a kuja kujua. Yeah. Because you are talking about your work with yeah. with, with with a workmate. Yeah. And that's why we need to be then, careful about. It. Let me add something before. Yeah. It slips from my mind. Mm -hmm. Everything that happens to us. And this I learned the hard way, and I'm still learning it. Yeah. It, it, it also depends with how you interpret it. Okay. It's all about interpretation. 
that demotion, you can celebrate it. For example, if let's say you are a manager, mm. that means, yes, a, prestige, a prestigious title, you know, but mm. more responsibilities. Mm. More responsibilities, more working hours. Let's, and, uh, let's say you, you are from a manager yeah. and then you move to a, just a supervisory position. Good. Yeah. The workload will reduce. Will reduce. Yes, the prestige will come down, mm. will be diluted, but also the workload. So you can say that now that I have more time, I can spend more time with my family. I can spend more time with my friends. I can, you know, you know. Mm. Also, you can be like, now the back doesn't stop with me. Less stress. So it, it all depends with how you interpret it. Mm. It also depends with how you interpret it. Maybe I can add something to back that point. Mm. Ah, well, go ahead, go ahead. There was this famous photographer mm. called Kevin Carter. He's, he, he's most known for the photograph that he took of that Ethiopian child. With the with the bird, yeah, with the, the vulture at the, at the background, yeah, with yeah, the vulture. Yeah, mm. I was trying to do some research, and I found that Kevin, unfortunately, later did committed suicide, and some of the some of the things that led to his suicide or the his depressive state mm. is that the nature of his work. You're saying that. He was not able, he could not, he, he felt that he was incapable of helping people. Like that child, also when he went to cover war and all that, he felt that he was unable to help people. Now, look at the interpretation. If Kevin did not capture that photo, the world would not have known that, the scenario at, in Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. If Kevin did not cover the wars, People could not know of the, of the predicament of the people experiencing the war. But he gave a wrong interpretation. I'm not judging, but he gave a wrong interpretation mm. to whatever happened to him. Mm. You see? Mm. I, I don't discount that the fact that his work was depressive, mm. but the interpretation. So back to this person who has been, who has been demoted. Mm. If you give it a wrong interpretation... interpretation. It will eat you up. But if you're like, hooray, now I can, I can spend more time with friends. Mm. Yeah? You won't get depressed. You won't get depressed. Wow. That's the MD himself. Now, let yeah. me ask you. Yeah. We move to the third category of yeah. people. And, and here, we are looking at those who, they're saying, you know what, I, I don't have a job. Mm -hmm. There's nothing I can do about it. Mm -hmm. Because... I have not gone to school. Mm -hmm. I don't have this particular paper mm -hmm. or qualification mm -hmm. for the matter. Mm -hmm. Now, this guy decided, or this, this guy decides to opt to go for odd jobs, mm -hmm. manual labor. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, maybe it could be in some construction mm -hmm. house somewhere, or or you can choose to become to to to, to wash people's clothes in the estates. Sure. But now, the money you get is not enough for you. Mm -hmm. They go through a state of depression. Mm -hmm. What is your word for this group of people? You know, I don't want to downplay this group of people, but most of the time, disappointments comes with expectations. That group of people, and, uh, and from observation, that group of people that maybe they don't have papers, they are usually not disappointed. They mm. don't expect much. In fact, it's easier for a graduate to be, to be, to fall into depression because of lack of a job, than a class eight dropout <laughs> or a class eight leaver. You believe so? Yeah. Okay. Let me put it in perspective. Uh -huh. A graduate has high expectations. Also, the society has high expectations uh -huh. on the graduate, but this class eight leaver is like, okay. I'm sure that, uh, I, I didn't advance so much with my studies, mm. and I, I now need to find a way out. So this group of people, they are less likely to be depressed. But what happens to them, they are more likely to be resigned. Resigned are those, is a scenario whereby people, whatever, whatever will be, will be. 
Ah, job yenye takuja ni sawa tu. You know, you know, you yeah. know the, this group, they are the same same group of people who, if you ask them, what kind of a job yeah. would you want to have? Yeah. Unajua jibu watasema? Yeyote tu. Yeyote tu? Yeah. They are resigned, so th they are not usually disappointed. Yeyote tu, in fact, job yeyote tu nezapata job. You know, you know that answer is not quite... Uh, it, it doesn't give you much to work with because yeah. okay, nataka job yoyote, and mm. you wouldn't know how to how to hit, deal with this particular individual. Yeah, nataka job yoyote, and yeah. it's not easy to deal with them. Yeah, yeah, it's not easy to deal with them. So they are mostly under the category of resigned. They did a resigned type a resigned type of life. Okay. Yeah. So okay. the, the only thing for them is that they can just be empowered. They can just be empowered. They can only be empowered. Yeah, they can only be empowered. Only, 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 only talk to them so that they can know how to respond to some yeah. of these questions. So yeah. is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can I add a dynamic to unemployment? Yeah. There's this unique dynamic. Oh, it's not unique. You know... I was doing research on depression, suicide, and all that, and I realized that people who live alone, they're more prone to depression and suicide. Mm. Now, someone who is living alone, and they are single, and they lose their job. <laughs> that's, wow. yes. that's a dynamic that, I don't know how you can explain it, but Apple. a dangerous dynamic. Very dangerous. Yeah. Very You're dangerous. single. You're single. You stay alone. Yeah. You had a job. You had a job. And you're paying for your rent. Yeah. Now you get to lose that job. Yeah. You have no one to go home to, to you know, at least when, when you are two of you, you have someone to go home to, to share the bad news. Not <laughs> even to cater for your bills, to share the bad news. But now what? you have no one to go to. Yes. Yeah. It's you and your peers. <laughs> yeah. You enter that hey, wow, mm -hmm. wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Someone who's depressed and is going on and is in that in that position, yeah. can they come out of it? Is it possible? Yeah, it's very much possible. In fact depression is 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 like it's a face. Usually research shows that usually in our course of lifetime some people will fall into the depression. So it's something that you can get out in and you get out of it. Uh, out of it. Yeah. But, 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 but now, um, mm. there is this tendency to mm. end up borrowing money. Yeah. You borrow and borrow yeah. and borrow yeah. to the point that uh, it becomes stressful. Yeah. You have so many loans to pay yeah. and there is no income yeah. <laughs> to pay for this money. Yeah. So this person ends up be being depressed, yeah. gets into lots of things that mm. end up taking much of their their money. Mm -hmm. But well, let's talk about that. I mean, it's loans mingi sana. Na ko depressed as a atalipa easy loans njia gani. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, it's an unfortunate scenario. Mm. Very unfortunate. But it's what is happening yes. currently in our uh. society. So the first thing in all this, it's state of mind. You have lost your job, state of mind. How is your state of mind? Mm. You know, someone once said that sometimes it's not about the money. It's mm. about, yes, money, money will solve most of these problems, but sometimes it's not about the, the, money. the money. Okay, let me divert a bit. Most people, when you ask, the, when you ask most people, why have you not started that business idea that you, are, you, you have been talking about? You have been talking about mm. yes. Mm. They will be like, I don't have capital. You know, I don't have capital. So it's not lack of capital that makes us not start businesses. What is it? It's lack of ideas. You know, mm. it's lack of ideas. But we hide it under lack of. Cap capital, lack, capital. lack of capital. All right. So if you can, if, if you can find creative ideas of starting your business without money, mm. when money comes, 
it will prepare the business to the next level. Mm -hmm. So back to this person who is borrowing. Yeah. If we can deal with the state of mind and they are in a good state of mind. Mm. Do you know even banks, when you go to and you talk to your bank manager, they can, they can restructure your loan, they can give you more time, mm -hmm. but you need to be in a good frame of mind to go and talk to them. You know? Yeah. If you're a business, if maybe you're a, you're a business person, you can ask for more credit in terms of goods mm -hmm. and sell. Mm -hmm. So before we go to the borrowing, we need to go to the state of mind. How is the state of mind? No, How are no. they dealing with this loss? Mm -hmm. Once, we, so once we, we work on that, mm -hmm. this issue of borrowing money will sort itself. You know, most people are depressed. They yeah. end up getting to have so many loans. Yeah. And on a better CRB. Yeah. No, I'm not sure. Yeah. So, we are going to be a lot of money. We Yeah. They're known. Yeah. Because they don't have any mm. anywhere to go. Mm. And, and, and it's quite a sad state of affairs. Mm. But they can come out of it. They can come out of it. Yeah. Let me also add that. Now, when you are depressed, your, your body goes into survival mode mm. you know mm -hmm. and uh, when you're in survival mode you're not creative if you if you take money from if you borrow money from someone it's not money to fund an idea mm. it's money to consume money to parent money to survive money to survive so it will be something recurrent mm. but if maybe you can be you, you, your mental state can be revamped you know you can even be like, instead of paying rent this month, let me use this money to fund this idea. That will generate more money. Sure. I love that. Yeah. Now, now um, even as we um, try and, uh, and, and, and come out of, uh, of that and uh, wrap things up, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, MD mm. is an author. Mm. And as we were talking, I'm sure you've, you, you had, you picked out points that, he wrote this book, he wrote that book. Um, you are an author. Sure. Tell us about the book that you wrote. Okay. What is his name? It's, and it talks also about depression. Yeah. Yes. Let's talk about that book. Okay. Mm -hmm. The book is called Preps, The Antidote to Resignation, Anxiety, Depression, and Suicidal Thoughts. What is it all about? So it's all about those things that we can do to to come out of depression and for those people who are not in a depressive state mm. if they do these things they will not fall into depression so it's both curative and preventative okay yeah okay yeah okay. all right and yeah. uh, is it out yet yeah the the book is out mm -hmm. although i'm working out with a few people mm. i'm planning to I feel philanthropic. Okay. <laughs> I, I let me give a backstory. Yeah. This book is is from a personal experience. I suffered depression some time back. Mm. Yeah, after a job loss. So. So we were actually talking about what you went through. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I felt like when I was going through that period of depression one of the things that really helped me get out of it is reading books mm. and the fact that i can give back to the society through writing a book and giving out there so wow. i'm wow. i'm trying to mm -hmm. to finalize with a few partners here and there mm -hmm. how we can distribute the book and for, give back to yeah, the society for free for free for free yeah Wow. Yeah, because even the ideas in the book, they're not things that I can see that have invented the ideas. It's, it's typical things. Mm. Yeah, ni and kazi bring together. Mm. Then ka observe what wengine, then kona. Or this is what people did when they were depressed and they got out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, you're saying that it's not yet out, you're planning to release it? Okay, if someone wants the book, yeah. They can reach me via my socials and via email address, mm -hmm. and I can send them. I can send them a soft copy. Okay. But you know, back in back in the day, when we were young, 
chapati zikipikwa and mkona nja sana kids walikuwa napewa ile ya kwanza kwanza kwa ile yeah. <laughs> so there's someone out there who who, who may be leo ndo wamefika mwisho unaona so we can't wait for siju an, another month for us to finalize with the partners before the book is out if they reach out even today mm. i can send the book to them all right yeah how can someone get a hold of you or over social media via instagram mm -hmm. yeah my page is there is maktaba digitali and also i have a page by the name md njiru md right. njiru one yeah mm -hmm. yeah that's on ig yeah that's also on, on twitter yeah i'm also on twitter but i've not been active md njiru uh -huh. yeah md njiru yeah are you on facebook okay facebook? My, my account Oh, oh, disappeared. Go, <laughs> disappeared. Tu, uko, uko IG, <laughs> yeah, IG. IG. Yeah. I, by the way, mm. many people are going to IG. I don't know why. Yeah. But uh, mm. uh, maybe, maybe I, I will soon join you here. Yeah. And talking of mm. IG, mm -hmm. social media. Once mm. you are going through certain battles in your life, yeah. kindly get out of social media. Get out of social media. Mm. You know, subconsciously, we humans tend to compare ourselves with others so you know in ig kwanza ukenda ig people post their people post the the complete story all half <laughs> yes. ha half stories yeah you know huh? behind the scenes I want let me share something when people lose jobs some people go back to their parents home even uh, 40 years mm. una, una shanga mtu fulani squeeze amenda chini ya maji yako wapi alienda kwa mama yake alienda kwa baba yake hata post hiyo but huyo mtu akienda trip coast atakuja post hiyo so when you are going through page ya mtu wao uh, tuone ile the good things this person to graduate na yeye yeye ameenda vacation yeye ame you know you get the point <laughs> but is it too hurtful then you watu napitia people don't post they don't post it so when you are going especially when you are going through an employment just get out of social media because the public you, yeah you will end up even posting things about your job yeah. about your former employer yeah. and it's going to be a bad thing for you yeah wow i mm. want us to bring this discussion mm. to a close yeah. and i want to give you 20 seconds yeah to have a final word, mm -hmm. give us your parting shot. Mm -hmm. As you talk to Kenyans watching you today, mm -hmm. that's your camera there. Yeah. So my parting shot is, I, I, I will, my parting shot is from, from the book and the, it's preps. Anytime you are going through a hard situation, you can apply preps. What's preps? Preps is, the, the first piece stands for prayer. The R stands for reading. E stands for eating healthy and exercising. The other P stands for leading a, pass, a purposeful life. And S stands for scheduling your life and sleeping. All okay, right. once you get the book, maybe you'll, you'll get in-depth of what I'm trying to, to All say. Right. Yeah. Thank you so much, my brother, for coming. I yeah. appreciate the work you're doing. Keep yeah. on uh, keeping on. Keep changing lives out there. Yeah. I wish you the best. Okay? Thanks, sir. And of course, a big thanks to, 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 to MD Jiro for um, making time to join us today. We are talking about uh, uh, depression and unemployment right here on Career Talk. Of course, that brings us to the end of this particular discussion. But we still have more coming up your way right here on Wine in the Morning.